guys thanks for watching in the last couple of days I've been experimenting and it is working it can drive in reverse by remote control the additional parts for the expansion link are just standard Lego parts as you can see it's based on the well shared valve gear now that it can drive in reverse, I can reverse park it in the train garage, which you will see later in the video. This is the first time I'm driving the new steam lock with the additional expansion link. And you can see that there's a bit of a problem because the eccentric crank is bumping into the track next to the switch points. It's not a big problem, but it needs to be fixed. So I probably need to use the shorter lift arm again. Even better would be if someone could 3D print some bigger train wheels. That would also solve the problem. If you can help, leave a comment down below. Okay, let's park it in the train garage. The train elevator has been improved on several points, which I will show in a separate video when I will give it a good stress test by unloading the big yellow passenger train, which is actually too big for the train elevator, so I, need, I will need to build an extension. Please leave a like, thanks a lot. This video was actually almost twice as long, but the train was just going back and forward 100 times. So I cut it down a little bit. I'm also still busy with a couple of really cool upgrades to see how fast we can make it go. And I've also built a really nice passenger coach for the compressor. So check out the next videos. Please leave a like, thanks a lot, and see you in the next video.